In this video, I guide you how to remove Zscaler from a school Chromebook. Since Zscaler is often managed by your school's IT department, I can show you the direct process. But don't worry, I'll explain everything step by step if needed. I'll use some scenario steps to make this more understandable. So before we begin, it's important to note that Zscaler is typically enforced by your school or organization. So in order to remove or bypass it, you may need admin access or permission from your IT department. If you don't have these permissions, reach out to them for assistance. So assumingly, we access a Zscaler. On your Chromebook, click on the clock at the bottom right corner to open the settings menu. Click on the gear icon to open settings. And then in the settings search bar, type proxy or network to locate related configurations. Assumingly, if you have access to modify Zscaler, open your browser and go to the Zscaler login page, and then log in using your admin credentials, navigate to the settings or filter sections, and then disable or remove any proxy or filtering settings associated with Zscaler, and then save the changes, and then restart your Chromebook. And then alternate method in removing Zscaler is if you suspect Zscaler is enforcing its filters via a certificate, Open settings on your Chromebook and then go to your privacy and security. And then under the manage certificates, look for any certificates issued by Zscaler and then select and remove the certificate. After that, restart your Chromebook to apply changes. So if you can't disable Zscaler and you have permission, you can perform a factory reset. Go to settings, advance and reset settings. Select power wash to reset your Chromebook and note this will erase all data, so back up your files first. If none of this work, it's likely that Zscaler is managed by your school admin. In this case, you'll need to contact your IT department for further assistance. And that's how you remove Zscaler from a school Chromebook. I hope this guide helps. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.